Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin hasn't really moved much since yesterday, at least not from the perspective of the daily time frame. Bitcoin still seems to be moving sideways overall. We're just now, while I, while I record this video, attacking the 99k level. There's a bit of resistance there. But overall, the idea on the daily chart is that um, a fourth wave is due. It might have started that at least yesterday was sort of my idea it doesn't mean we have a short trade setup i would be careful about that but i can tell you that it should be important to mentally prepare for a larger wave four correction now the the one hour chart needs to confirm that further right i can only on the daily chart it's a high level view i can only highlight that to complete in my opinion a larger degree structure we need to see a four five pattern that would be the ideal structure and I would still like to see Bitcoin go to 130k, which means even this scenario, even if it allows for another pullback, this is bullish still. And I still would like to see further upside overall. And I still would like to see the price go to 130k. That's that's my baseline. Um, and also that means it gives us n a nice and easy strategy, which means accumulating into the orange support area carefully, you know, um, while managing risk, of course, could be an easy strategy. While then, if we rally higher towards 110k, 120, 130, while it might be reasonable to then scale out, take some profits. But overall, the main support area on the daily chart is between 68k and um, yeah, pretty much 80k. We don't, or 81k, let me just double check that. Yeah. We don't need that upper support level there. Let me remove it. So if this is really the wave four of this wave degree, we should probably reach the 38.2 retracement, but that needs to be confirmed further on the one hour chart because on the one hour chart, there is also a direct bullish scenario that first needs to be, let's say ruled out or invalidated. Um, for now, this deeper pullback scenario is I, I would say this seems to be leading because the bulls could not hold above 100k. But again, that is not the same as being short or bearish. I just want to raise awareness that we could start this way for. Um, I just don't see. I don't see a micro setup at the moment that would support a direct move up. Well, there is one, but I want to see it prove itself because we got rejected above 100k, right? Um, so looking at the one hour chart. The idea would be a larger wave four could unfold here as an A, B, C structure. In this scenario, we've probably seen something like um, a third wave top when well, we talked about that and then A, B, C in wave A. Second. So A, B, C in wave A, all right? and this was a, an overshooting B wave. And we could now be working on wave B roughly, right? This is, there is not enough price data to really tell us what's going on here, uh, as you can see, because it all happened very, very quickly. But the yellow scenario, that's short-term bearish, suggests A, B, C, the rally was an overshooting B wave. We got rejected there, it broke together, it broke, broke down again. I explained yesterday what happened. And then from here now, we could probably start a B wave and then move down in wave C over the coming weeks or months. I'm not fully convinced yet, but I said it makes sense to prepare for it. But also when we have a, let's say volatility event like this, it can make sense to just take a step back and wait for the market to clarify because we haven't even broken below the 26th of November low. And what needs to happen to confirm the yellow count further? Well. I've added today a micro support area to the chart, which needs to be broken to confirm it further. That's at 86,200. And I would need to see further evidence that this is a B wave, like choppy sideways action. And if this was really the A wave, which bottomed yesterday, then wave B should take some time. So we should see some range bound movement. If that doesn't happen and we break out more directly, then the only option I have, I think, and it's a slight change from the yesterday's, because I showed you yesterday a short-term bullish case as well, in which I had the wave four here, and then this is a one-two setup, but I didn't like that scenario very much. Um, so after <laughs> after a good night's sleep, 
I think it makes sense to put the wave four here to the 5th of December low and then call that a flat correction, just a wider wave four, which is reasonable. It can, get, can just try again for higher prices, right? Which is why I said, look, both scenarios are still bullish. For me, however, the direct bullish scenario needs to prove itself first again. Well, it's trying today, right? I mean, I don't really have a very clear micro comp, but this could turn into a five wave move up. It's a bit unclear at this stage, but if I see that this is materializing as a five wave move, I will provide the next micro support area, maybe for a one two setup for those who want to who want to uh, to act on it. But that's not very clear to me yet. We just need a little bit of price action. You know, we don't want to rush make uh, decisions or come to conclusions after such a let's say rapid sell off. And then we have a bit of a recovery, yeah, but there's not enough structure to confirm what it is. All I want to say, for me, at the moment, based on this, the pivot between the yellow count and the white count is 86,200. However, I would mentally prepare for the yellow scenario um, because of the rejection from above 100k. And as I said yesterday, it it all, it prepared us for, you know, these are these are rough waters in which we are um, in which we are here, and it's not easy up here. So it's not going to be an easy ride to 200k plus, probably not. And if this is a B wave, we will probably see a few days of sideways action, maybe even a couple of weeks or so. We will see. But if I see a clear one, two setup, impulsive price action to the upside, then we will try to go higher more directly. Which means for anybody who's dealing with a short term, looking for a short term bullish scenario, well, you can always set a stop below yesterday's low. I mean. That's, I think that's, or today's low actually. I mean, that's quite straightforward. Um, if this is white wave four, it shouldn't really break below 86,200. That gives you some key levels to watch and a break above the, well, I think when we get above 100K again, you know, then this would sl slowly start to shift probabilities towards the white count. But be aware that if this is the yellow B wave, it could even overshoot. It would probably not. So, because we already have an overshooting B wave in this structure, so two overshooting B waves is very rare. Um, especially if the first one is part of that A wave, and then this one here overshoots as well, it does look a bit strange, technically valid, but I would then probably start to say, okay, let's see if the white count can do it, and we go up again more directly, and the, the bulls are trying. I mean, the good news is we don't have we don't have any panic selling or anything, it was just a rejection from above 100k so the bulls might try to attack again to keep that scenario valid well in the very short term ideally the uh, swing low from yesterday is holding then this is possible okay any break below the swing low might just mean the way four extends but below 86,200 it is more clearly yellow because we would then go too deep for this way four um but yeah let's see we have to be flexible about the microstructure is worth keeping an open mind about it so hope you like the update if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.